this video, I'm going to show you the best basic concept that you can use to defend Gun Bunch. In particularly, we're going to be looking at a defense that is really set up well to defend things like Bunch Trail, Z-Spot, Flood, some of those popular passing concepts that you're going to get whenever you face a good Bunch player. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with everything that we have coming here on the channel. I upload videos every single day, and today we're talking about the nickel normal defense uh, you can find this in several playbooks right now i'm in the san francisco 49ers playbook so if, or actually i'm in the 46 playbook but i've written an ebook on nickel normal and the in particular nickel normal that is found in the san francisco 49ers defensive playbook it's the best one in my personal opinion best nickel normal in the game uh, by far and uh, we're going to talk about a coverage that you can find in that and that is the cover six and we're going to show you why this is so effective against the gun bunch. So I'm going to set a couple audibles here, just get some basic concepts on the field. Uh, we're going to talk about verticals, of course. Vertical is one of the most popular plays. And then we're also going to talk uh, a little bit about mesh posts. Now, uh, we're going to come out in the play bunch trail uh, to teach from here. Bunch trail to me is the best bomb play in gun bunch. And we're going to show you how you can really do a good job, in my opinion, at locking it down with this defense. So like I said, if you want to get the full ebook, um, there's a link in the Patreon membership or to the Patreon membership down in the description. You can sign up for the Patreon for just uh, 10 bucks a month. It gets you access to not only the Nickel Normal ebook, but all 13 ebooks that I've released so far this year. Okay, guys, so we're going to show you how to set this up. What I like to do is pinch my defense. I like to crash my line out probably six times. I did a video on that earlier talking about the importance of this. We're then going to take this guy, Winovich, and we're going to put him in a quarterback spy. We're going to take Barmore here, and we're going to put him in a bluff blitz. And then what I like to do here um, is take high tower and actually man him up on the tight end. That's going to help kind of bomb proof the coverage a little bit and just help us play a little bit better against kind of some of those basic flooding combinations on a bunch. And then I like to blitz the vertical hook defender, which is uh, the safety right here. Now, if you're worried about a running back out route, you can always put the corner on the left side into a hard flat. Um, but I do like to leave the soft squat until they start um, just kind of taking their flats, taking their flats, taking their flats. Okay. So the way bunch trail works here, um, most people honestly just snap, snap at stock. They might block their tight end. Um, and what you're going to see is this corner out and post really is tough to guard. But with cover six, what you're going to notice is this safety that's in the deep half will match onto it basically perfectly. Now, obviously he caught it there, but if I click on right there, that's probably an easy interception. Now, let me show you something else about this. So I'm going to go to the cover two out of the nickel normal. And this is why people like this, this play so much. Because against cover two, um, you're going to see here that the safety that is in a deep half is not going to guard it. However, in cover six, because cover six is a matching defense, the safety will play that deep post route. Okay? Um, the same thing can basically be said of the cover three defense out of this. So I'm going to grab just a basic... We'll actually go Mike Blitz 3 here and just show a basic concept uh, from this. But again, this is just a cover 3. And uh, whoops, I did not mean to flip my play. Let me flip that back real quick. Um, but against cover 3, what you'll see is, again, this post is difficult. Now, cover 3 will play a little bit better than cover 2 will from time to time. But once he kind of crosses his face here, you see how you can kind of throw that. And again, I didn't get the, qu the, the right catch animation. But... Typically, you can actually catch that against a cover three defense, okay? Um, now, the beauty of cover six, and one of the, I think the difficult parts about bunch is they've got so many bombs that work on different hashes. They work a little bit differently depending on the hash. The beauty of cover six is it's not going to really matter, uh, and I think that's super, super important. So what we're getting is a box check to the right, and we're getting this nice little deep half that will match that solo receiver vertically if he goes on that skinny post. So as you see right there, he plays it really, really well. Now, one of the secret little tips that I like to tell people about this deep half is if you get it lower in the box. So if you get it like kind of down right in here. Now, if you are going to do this, I would really recommend taking this guy and putting him on a cloud flat because if they get you in a bad logic, um, you can get into a little bit of trouble. But what I want to show one more thing here on this is that 
when you bring this safety down into the box like this, what you're going to notice is even if they run that wheel, um, you're going to see here, you can kind of poach on that, but look at how well that safety will guard pretty much anything that they're going to do out of bunch. Um, and I'll show this one more time here. So what you're going to see, my safety is down in the box. He's not in a great leverage position, but watch how he just basically locks right onto him and just covers that really, really well. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't show you this bomb concept that they will eventually run on you when they start to see something like these adjustments. And what we're going to do here is we're going to put the running back on a wheel and we're going to fade the square receiver. What you're going to see here is at the snap of the ball, I can lob this over the top. So that's why I like to suggest that one way around that is to go ahead and put that, uh, put that cloud flat out there. So let me show you this one more time. So this is where they're going to start running things like uh, the clear out play with a running back wheel or something. Um, so if they start running something like that on you, just put that corner in a cloud and now your guy's safe. Now he will cover it just fine if you leave him where he's at. But I do like to bring the safety down. I think it does help with other routes in the bunch. And you'll see now the cloud flat will get a jam. Actually, didn't get back too well on that. Um, the cloud flat, I don't think, got a great jam on him probably because it's Mike Evans, um, but anyways. And if you leave this corner there though, I'll show you real quick how to clear out. So if I leave that safety backed off, you'll see he'll play this perfectly. It doesn't really matter. Now part of this is also because I'm on the I'm on the hash, right? A little bit of a hash diff dis, uh, difference. But by and large, this defense, like I said, is very, very effective against Bunch. Now I wanna turn our attention to the verticals play. So if you take a look at this, if I just snap this ball, the tight end is almost always open. You just throw that and it's open, right? Well, what I like to do to counter the, the, the tight end route, as I throw my controller, um, what I like to do to counter that tight end route, because we love the cover six for pretty much everything else it's gonna do, right? We love the fact that we can stop the post. We love the fact that we can stop um, almost everything that they can do flooding wise to the bunch side. So what I like to do um, whenever they're running the vertical play is I'm just going to man up that tight end. And what you'll see is when I run this vertical play, the man coverage is out there alongside of that quarter defender. And that quarter defender, and this is something that I like to talk to a lot about, I'm going to talk more about on the channel, but if you bring these guys down into the box, they're going to play significantly better. Um, you're still, if you keep this guy wide, he could still get back on everything that they're going to run to the number one. So just keep that in mind. But also here on the verticals play, watch how much better you're going to get these match defenders to play. And you see right there, I mean, it's, it's, it's not really there, right? There's not a real opening. And the other thing about verticals then is now the last piece of this is, again, your user really needs to carry the crosser. But I want to show you what happens when he doesn't, and this is primarily – because we brought the guy down into the box. What you're gonna see is he's gonna drive on the route fairly effectively, and he's going to make a play. Now, might not be perfect 100% of the time, but that is something that you can do. Just by bringing these guys down into the box, you will be amazed at how well they will start playing for you. Um, you'll be amazed at how, many, how few uh, bombs will actually start to work. Just by bringing this defender like down in here, you'll just, I, I think you're going to be very surprised at how well they start playing crossers. And we already know how well they're going to play these corner routes. You're going to see that these corner routes are very difficult to complete consistently against this defense. So with that being said, guys, that's how I like to stop some of the meta things that a bunch out of cover six. I think cover six is one of the most underrated defenses in the game. My opinion is probably the best base defense for coverage, most difficult coverage to bomb consistently if you know what you're doing with it and we teach you how to use this and all of the other match defenses and send pressure from them and have a whole defensive scheme built around this so if you want to learn that or if you just want to get better at the game head on down to that patreon link in the description below join the patreon today for just 10 bucks a month you're going to get immediate access to not only that match defense but i've got 13 other defenses and offenses available for you over there so there's just so much stuff that you're going to be able to learn so many ebooks so many guides that you're going to walk away a better player uh, even if you only join for a month so i would really encourage you to check it out there's a link to sign up in the description of this video so if you want to sign up head on down to the description 
and uh, check out that link.